Hi all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, 2011. Here's a brief summary of what we got on the website today. Please go to www.PhoneScholar.com to check out the entire articles, which you are going to want to do today because I wrote an article on there. And for any questions, send me a blog questions at PhoneScholar.com or a comment on the YouTube video. And away we go. The first one that I put on there is I sat and watched, obviously yesterday they announced the iPad 2. Today's going to be a lot about that. There's always follow-up. And next week after it comes out, next Friday, I'm sure the following week, I'll have an iPad 2 versus Zoom video from someone. Uh, so just to let you know, there's probably going to be another day of that. But just to follow up today, um, I, they, on Apple they posted the entire 72-minute event that Steve Jobs did with the announcement of the iPad 2. And so the first one I have on here, it's a video of him announcing the actual iPad 2 from CNET. And then I wrote my impression of the entire 72-minute video because there was a lot of things in all the articles that we put out yesterday uh, that I put out and that the other uh, publications put out, there were a few things that I felt needed to be said. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail here because, again, this will turn into a 20-minute video because the article is a little bit long, but a couple of things about the apps, a couple of things about the iPad 2. One of the things that he really, at the end, you'll read my impression, he talked about all the other tablets being copycats which was kind of funny because the iPad 2 put in the dual-core processors, it put in the gyroscope, it put in the cameras, which they seem to be copying or bringing themselves up to speed with everybody else. Now, it's hard to say that the iPad is a copycat since the original iPad was extremely inventive and, and put tablets on the map to the point where they pretty much put netbooks out of business. Uh, so, it's an interesting to that. But please read the entire article, and I also put a link to the entire 72 minute video if you want to watch that, which it's long, but I would recommend. Steve Jobs is a tremendous orator, and he has a few of his uh, flunkies on there also talking about some of the different things, including the photo booth app and stuff like that. So it's, I think it's well worth the watch for the, if you have 72 minutes, play some video games with along with it, or uh, poker or something while you're doing that, and I think it'll be worth it to you. Okay, next. Motorola Zoom versus the iPad 2. The Zoom is a clear winner. And this is one, man, one man's opinion, Preston Gralla from Computer World, who I use a lot of his articles and I think he's terrific, but he says that the Zoom by far outdoes the iPad 2. Now he had on there, uh, and there's a link to this, uh, eight reasons why the Zoom beats the iPad, and now he's saying the iPad 2, which I can understand his concept before that, because the, the difference between the iPad and the iPad 2, and you'll see in my first article, is not mind-blowing. But uh, it's a really good article, and he talks about how the Android honeycomb over the iOS 4.3 and the advantages of that, the Chrome browser over the Safari browser and the advantages of that, the fact that the Zoom will eventually have Flash, uh, that the, I, the iPad will never have, and that the app flexibility in the Android market. Now, again, this is one person's opinion. There's going to be a lot of other opinions. One of the things that they're talking about is the fact that the iPad's available on AT&T and Verizon right now, and Zoom's only on Verizon. So that's a, a feather in the cap for, eight for Apple, uh, the iPad 2. So just something to take a look at. Next, iPad owners rush to dump old tablets for new model. And there's a uh, gadget buyback company called Gazelle. There's a number of them there, but Gazelle is one particular one that they did this, and I did put a link to their site in case you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, on Wednesday, they had over 2,000 requests to buy back the iPad, the original iPad, uh, for in lieu of the iPad 2. They're not selling them the iPad 2. I'm saying they buy it back. Now, I know you're asking me, wait a second, the iPad 2 is not going to come out until next Friday. That means they're gonna, these people are going to be over a week without it. Well, here's the deal. The original price for the 16 gigabyte iPad in good condition, they were paying people $375 for. By the end of the day, they were only giving them $300 for it because there were so many requested, they didn't need as many, so people got a little more desperate. Now, what Gazelle does is they resell them on eBay or Overstock.com or wholesalers or stuff like that. You can always sell it yourself on eBay or Craigslist or anything like that if you want. It's just that with this company, you don't have to go through the hassle of getting the money and everything like that, and, uh, but you may be able to get more for yourself. So something to think about, like I said, I put the link. There's probably a hundred of these companies if you put it into Google and you can find that. Lastly, the, uh, my friend from uh, one of my readers called Four Door Mafia put up a video of how he took the Zoom because it was saying that the Zoom could only hook up through an HDTV through the dock. 
and he hooked it up directly through his HDTV. He said it was very seamless. There's a video of him doing this and showing how he's using it on there. And I got to tell you, when you hook these tablets up to these big 54-inch screens, it is really impressive. They did that in the video uh, that Steve Jobs did with the iPad 2 in a classroom, and it is really mind-blowing. And I think that's where these are going to, especially with kids playing games and stuff like that. That's all I got for today. Again, a little iPad update. Read my article, please. I really think, would like to see and think and hear what you think of it. And then uh, tomorrow, all new articles, I promise you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.